And we have breaking news right now at 5. And a rescue truck and a fire engine have crashed in Miami. And tonight, 12 people, seven of them emergency personnel, are hurt. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya is live on the scene with what happened. Natalia. Well, firefighters are still out here right now. A tow truck just left here. They just loaded this fire rescue truck onto the back of this flatbed. You can see trying to get it out. The front is completely damaged. And over here, I've got the, this is the fire engine that turned on its side. Let me give you another look here at the fire rescue truck here on the back of the flatbed. The front end all smashed up. What we understand is these two vehicles we showed you collided here at the intersection of Northwest 12th Avenue and 14th Street. Firefighters on these vehicles both came from Station 5. They all know each other, and 12 people were transported to the hospital. We saw the fire truck pass us. The next thing we know, we heard a popping bang sound. It sounded absolutely horrible. It sounded, you could hear the grinding, twisting metal and big boom. From UM Hospital, the state attorney's office, and even a nearby trolley, people heard when a Miami fire engine collided with a Miami fire rescue truck at the very busy intersection of Northwest 12th Avenue and 14th Street. And at the end of the day, you got to keep your calm. You got to keep your cool. Obviously, uh, tensions run a little higher when you know it's your people involved. It looked like every single fire rescue person in the city of Miami was here and we saw them transporting people. Witnesses watched as firefighters rushed to the scene to transport seven of their colleagues to the hospital. A grandmother and two children in the back of the rescue truck on their way to UM Hospital were transported by a different crew to Jackson after the accident. And it didn't end there. The child and adult in this car were taken to a hospital when they were involved in an accident shortly after the fire crews crashed into each other. The damage had many here fearing the worst. Casualties. That's what that's what I would think, but I hope everyone's okay. But firefighters say everyone involved in this accident is stable and being treated for various injuries, none of which are life threatening. I'm grateful to our first responders for what they do, and I actually thought it was a beautiful thing to see all these firefighters out here supporting each other. Now, we spoke with a man who says he actually saw uh, one of the firefighters from the rescue truck get out and help pull people out of this engine in order to get them out because they were stuck. Now, the assistant fire chief tells me that all firefighters wear seat belts while they are in their vehicles, even when they're rushing to emergencies just like this. At this point, they're not clear who caused the accident. They're more focused on making sure that all 12 people who were transported are treated. Natalia Gazea, CBS 4 News.